Plecos had eggs, now what? How do you take care of these Pleco eggs? Regardless of your, if your Pleco surprised you with a batch of eggs, or if you're trying to breed your Plecos, having your Plecos lay eggs is a very exciting time. How to care for these eggs is the next step, and for the most part is actually quite easy. Pleco dads are usually quite good fathers and are excellent at protecting their and raising their offspring and they need little interference. So let's talk about those times where it doesn't go as planned or if you have a Playco dad that isn't is still learning his job as the main caregiver and protector. What do fertilized eggs look like? First let's make sure that the eggs are even fertile. Most Playco eggs are yellow when fertilized. There are a few exceptions like the L46 zebra Playco eggs are white but there are exceptions to the rule. When your Playcos have eggs, they will be clumped together in a clear eggs casing that the dad can stick to objects to keep them in place. Usually a wall, usually to the wall of a cave of his choosing, but if the eggs are out of the cave and not being cared for for the dad, he may become the caregiver and will need to look out for unfertilized eggs in the bunch. Can egg can Playco eggs get fungus on them? Because they often will get fungus all over and kill the whole batch. There are several ways you can help the eggs from fungusing over. The most important step to make sure that the eggs don't fungus over is having water movement around the eggs, so there's always fresh water and oxygen for those eggs. This can be achieved by putting eggs in a breeder box, bowl, or small tank, and then using an aquarium air pump you can create water movement. The eggs don't need to be moved or bounced around like some fish eggs. As long as there's water movement, they'll be fine. Another way to stop eggs from focusing over is to treat the water with methylene blue. This is used for treating several illnesses that fish can get, and one of them is fungal infections. So naturally it's great at killing fungus on eggs as well. When using methylene blue, you want to make sure you are using a container or a tank that you're okay with it getting stained blue. Like the name of the color of this medication, it is blue and will turn your water blue. The glass in your tank will be fine, but the silicone, silicone will be stained. One other important thing when using this method is once the baby's hatch, you'll want to do daily 50% water changes till the tank water is returned to clear color. Baby fish are more susceptible to chemicals and methylene blue can kill or harm them if exposed for an extended period of time. These methods, while very effective, are no way to guarantee the outcome will be perfect, but will go a long way to prevent flavor eggs from fungusing over. How to remove dead eggs or eggs that have been fun that have fungus on them. Sometimes not all of the eggs will, were fertilized or for some various reason a few eggs may die. When this happens you'll need to remove them from the bunch. While this isn't hard to do, but it can be, take some patience since the eggs can be a little slippery. Usually the best way to use is to use two sets of tweezers to pull it out. One trick that a fellow Plinko breeders use is putting a few shrimp in the tank or container. They'll eat the fungus off the eggs and will leave healthy eggs alone. Why did my male Placo kick the eggs out of the cave? Sometimes the male has kicked out the eggs out of his cave. This can be for several reasons. Most of the time, it's a new Placo dad. He's still learning how to take care of the eggs. Usually after a few batches, he figures it out. Another way this happens is the female lays an extra large bunch of eggs, and in the process of her leaving the cave, part of the bunch or egg clutch gets knocked out. Also, if you have multiple females in your tank, they'll sometimes try to lay eggs with the same male, and since he already has a batch of eggs, he'll pick out the extra set. This is one reason you'll need to make sure they are fertilized. If the female lays eggs, but the male doesn't fertilize them, no matter what you do, the eggs won't hatch. Most well, males will usually fertilize the new batch of eggs, but may be unable to take care of both and kick out the new batch. You'll know you have a good Playco dad when he can take care of both batches at the same time. Lastly, you may have a male that isn't good at raising young and will kick out every batch after he fertilizes them. Then you are stuck raising all of his babies. Luckily, this isn't hard to do, and depending on the species of Placo, it may not be an option to replace the male. After you have the eggs in the environment that is conducive to the eggs hatching, it is a waiting game. How long does it take for Placo eggs to hatch? Depending on the breed of Placo and how warm the tank is will determine how long the eggs take to hatch. This usually takes about 4 to 10 days for the eggs to hatch. Since the egg casing is clear, you can watch your future babies develop. During this time the eggs are developing, you can start to see little eyes appear and a tail start to form. Up to the point where the eggs hatch, Placo eggs are a little different from what most of us are used to when an egg hatches. Most of us think of a bird hatching and being fairly developed. But with Placo babies, their head and tail detach from their egg yolk, 
allowing them to move around. He stays attached to the egg yolk. This allows the baby plecos, also known as fry, to start developing their muscles and a constant food source for them during the time when they're protected by their dad in the cave. If you are artificially hatching these eggs, then you will get to experience seeing this from beginning to the end, from them moving around into fully finished finishing and development. Once you've arrived here, you no longer have to worry about them having problems with fungus and over the first hurdle for raising your ba own baby plecos.